Two of MCP TV. I'm one of your hosts, Mr. Jeff. I'm Miss Grace, and I'm Mr. Landon. And we're bringing MCP to your living room. Uh, you know, taking care of this quarantine. I know you guys are really bored, but uh, Miss Grace, what is the game we're playing today? Today we are going to be playing Wheel of New Life Ranch. <laughs> there it is, the song. So the way that this is going to work is. You guys, along with Mr. Jeff and Mr. Landon, okay, okay, are going to be okay. seeing this sheet of paper while I have a sheet of paper that tells me the answer. So what we're going to do is Mr. Jeff and Mr. Landon are going to go back and forth guessing letters of this common New Life Ranch feeling phrase. Feeling confident. Feeling confident. I'm not. Mr. Jeff. <laughs> I want the answer sheet. <laughs> you're feeling confident I this am, week? I am. I had two fans out there last this past week. week. Yeah. yeah. And you had a big coffee this morning. It is. So, yeah. I'm real excited now. I'm going to lose them when I lose this game, but I no, have confidence you're right not. now. You're so. not going to lose your fans. They're not true fans if you lose them after a loss. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> Arkansas athletics begs to differ. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I will be a hog until I die. Okay, let's start. Who would like to guess first? Um, I would like to buy a vowel. Um, I'm going to guess M. Was that your vowel that you no, chose? No, no, no. I'm just making fun of Wheel of Fortune, okay? I know what vowels are, but I'm going to guess M. Just, there are, just to be clear, Jeff, what is a vowel? Uh, the A E I O U's right there. there. Okay. Unfortunately, there are no M's. You gotta be kidding. No M's? No oh. M's. Oh, I totally Darn. thought there was an M. No yeah. M's. No M's. No M's. All right. M and M's, am I right? Still a blank board. <laughs> Mr. Landon, would you like to guess a letter? I would like to guess an A. Ooh, he says A. There are. An A for four Allie Summers. Are you kidding me? A's, there's four Mr. A's. Mm. Four. It's like when A's. I was in school, A's. I made four A's my whole time. Whole time you were there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here it is, Mr. Jeff. Um, I would like to guess I. He says I. I there he... are three I's. When you okay. said I would okay. like to okay. guess, I thought you were about to guess the whole thing. I was like, really? I'd like to guess what impressive. it is. Hey, yeah, I'm Mr. Really Landon, good. he said he was feeling confident. <laughs> I know. So. <laughs> All right. Here it is. Okay. Okay. I don't Mr. know what Mr. Landon, is. what letter would you like to guess? L. Mr. Landon says L. There are... Two L's. Okay, okay. I had three I's though, so. 
It's kind of a big deal. I have four A's. Right. So. Mr. Jeff, okay. here's your view of the board before um, I show our audience. Okay. I'm going to guess C. He says C. There are two C's. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're starting to figure this out. You are. Indeed. Ooh. Mr. Landon, here's your view before I show the audience. Mm-hmm. I think I think I might not know it. I'm going to go with an E. There are two E's. I know some of it for <gasps> sure. Yeah, I, I think I know the last word. I think everyone does now. Okay, okay. I definitely know the last word. Okay, Mr. Jeff, here's your view of the board. <laughs> You've got at least one word huh. out of the phrase to work for your I would like to benefit. guess P. Wow, Ooh. he says P. Every time you say I'd like to guess, I get really get really nervous. Yeah, there I do. are yeah, yeah. two. I'm not that confident yet. P's. Okay, okay. These were the ones I knew. You just there's another word. You locked Mr. up Landon. what I knew. Here's your view. Audience, here's your view. Mr. Landon, whenever you're ready. I think I know what the I'm third gonna go, word is. <laughs> I'm gonna go with an R. He says R. There is one R. There's only one. It's not helpful. I know where it is. Does he? I do. It's in the middle of the second to last word. Am I wrong? You are wrong. Okay, good. <laughs> good. It makes me confident you don't Here know yet. Okay. Yep. The view. Good. Huh. Um, I would like to guess T. He says T. There is one T. We have our. You keep third guessing the ones we already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third. <laughs> do we get points for getting the letters right? I'm going to go with an N. <laughs> he says N. There is R. Excuse me, grammar. There are two N's. Ooh, two of them. Two N's. Hmm. I'm going to go with G. Hmm. There is a G. Ooh. I was gambling there. It was good. Paid off. This is hard. Is it? No. <laughs> I would like to think that you could guess it, but that. I don't what know. Word is it? One, I don't know two, what the three, second four. to last the word is. The fifth word yeah. is really stumping them. It really is. Oh, you know what? Miss Grace missed a letter. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Look, let's see if this. <laughs> and you fill it in when Elena's about to go. <laughs> What's that? What did you put down? I, ooh, you have to figure it out. Is that, is that a, but is it a T or an I? It's a T. Okay. That's a great question. It is a T. Mr. Landon, what is your guess? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, B. He says B. There is, in fact, A, B. They have completed the second to last <laughs> word. One word left. Oh, wait. That's two not words the left. Last word. I'm sorry. Um, Mr. Jeff. What is that Ooh. word? Ooh. I know it. Okay, I have to, I have to try to guess because Landon knows it. Um, I'm gonna guess. Um, well, it says Pit and Palace. Bring. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I do. I know. Mr. Jeff, I'm gonna what? guess you. There is a you. Ah, oh, dang it. Great <laughs> guess. No, no. Can it's I like guess? a softball. Guess? Is it too late? Can I guess? It's like, like a, the no, buzz he uses his turn. I like so. the buzz he uses his turn. It's like, like a softball. Only guess in. at the beginning of no. your turn. Accurate? Is that audience? Only guess at the beginning. No. All right. A softball. Mr. Landon, <laughs> would you like to guess? Get her on. Get her on. Pit in Palace. Bring out Alice. Woohoo! Ding, ding, It's out of here. Here is now, our I final. I just pit, pit in Palace. Disregard right. this M. I thought it was going to be Palace. Pit in Palace something MRS Alice. Miss that's why Alice. I thought the R was Alice. second one. I don't know, Alice but that's Mary? where my mind went, though. It's so. a mystery. Yep. <laughs> All right, moving on. One to zero. All to right. Round two, Mr. Jeff. Okay. Mr. Landon has one point. Okay. Yeah. Let's see point, how much Miss Grace helps you this time, up. Mr. Jeff. <laughs> Sorry, what did you just? What did you just say? You're Team Jeff. I am Team Jeff. He's my co. I'm yeah. not Team Go Junior Camp. Go Junior Camp. So. Everyone Rush loves a true camp. underdog story. <laughs> All right. I'm the underdog. <laughs> <laughs> round. <laughs> round two. Here's our card. 
Are you, I think Mr. Layden's up guessing, or am I guessing? Do you want to guess this already? Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, like, letters. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to guess A. He guesses A. There is only one A you got in this one. Oh, man. It's not a good start. It was a start, though. Mr. Landon. In. He says in. There are three. I'm making sure that I'm counting right on this one. Three ins. Can we get someone else Uno? writing the letters down? Because I don't trust <laughs> her up to the first one. Hey. She's on your team, dude. Yeah. Uh, that's my true. That's true. Never mind. Support me. Okay. <laughs> three ins. Mr. Jeff. I'm going to guess you. He <laughs> says you. No, there are no U's. You are not in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was mean. That was, was a bad joke. I apologize. Uh, bad joke. D. He says D. There is, in fact, one D. Crazy. One D. How did you know one that direction. that's what was at the end of that word? Uh, uh, uh. Or as Mr. Rhett would say, one dimension. <laughs> yeah. One. He does yeah. say. Actually, it's third dimension. <laughs> Even crazier. Okay. Mr. Jeff. Um, I'm gonna guess oh, go I. There are th three. Wait, <laughs> three eyes. Ooh, I normally call Jeff Here four eyes. <laughs> Good I'm three one. eyes, actually. Thank you. Because of the glasses. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. There you go. There you go. Come on, Mr. Jeff. <laughs> Doc right. Bados is kind of wearing off on me from oh, last yeah, yeah, week. Yeah, I'm got sorry. a lot of dad jokes in you now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mr. Landon. I'm gonna go with an O. He says O. Oh, there is one O. Oh. 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 oh! oh! Mr. Jeff? Um, I'm going to guess M. There are no M's, Mr. Jeff. That's what is okay. this? Oh, man. <laughs> Mr. Landon? What is that first word? I? I you already, we already said I. You um, did. T. There are no T's. To be or to not to be. Oh, okay. Well, that's not, that's not, that's not okay. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to. Is that an O or a D? I already said O. Um, there's a D o. here and there's an O here. Good point, good point. Um, I'm going to guess uh, C. There are no C's. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> what is happening? R. There are no I'm sorry. There are there's no R's. Apparently. This words only have three letters. In them. <laughs> yeah, there's only three of them. We can't guess them. It's just banana yeah, over and over. There's 16 again. of one letter when we say it. Um, I like to guess P. <laughs> no P's. Oh, what goodness. in the world? <laughs> what is this? Hey, uh, w. Let's get weird. Let's get the weird letter out there. You got weird <laughs> and you got right. There are three W's. <laughs> you got weird and you got right. <laughs> yeah, yeah wow. I, did, I didn't like that wow. phrase, but it's already out. All right, there are three. W's. Here we are. I'd like to say E. Ooh, good guess, Mr. Jeff. There are two. Mm. Why didn't we think My of E before? I know. I was going through right the vowels. Now. Why did we go through the W before we went to E? <laughs> I know. I don't know. I was thinking the same thing. Okay. Here we go. We now have three completed words. Huh. I can't. Can you face it towards me? Yeah, please? yeah, yeah. Here you go. Just to add pressure, I think I know it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. Do you want to skip? I mean, no, I'm going to guess what letter. Okay. C. I think we might have already said you that. Said C. No. I said C. So. Okay. Um, uh, I, F. What? Oh, what? Oh, oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, you don't get to oh. guess two letters. <laughs> if it's already been guessed, well, I do. Technically, yeah, he does. He does. Oh, okay, go ahead. Goodness. F. <laughs> there are no Fs. I don't actually know it. I just want to add pressure. Um, I'm going to guess. I'm going to go for it. Z. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, there are no Z. Oh, I thought it was Xenon. <laughs> Xenon. So Great I thought show. Xenon. Oh, man. Could have been zinc. The second word. It could It could have been, but it's not. B. <laughs> There are no bees. This one's what in the what common NLR phrases. It's okay. It's just Apparently not too y'all are giving I'm guess all, of why? Our, all of our campers are getting an alphabet review. Why? Uh, there are no wait. There are no whys. Why are there no whys? They because know. there are not. Mr. Landon. Hopefully you guys laughed at home with that joke. It was rough. 
Yeah. We already said M. I know. That's I why. Know I, that's why I said. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of saying a letter, I just said. Eh. Uh. I don't even know. H. There is one H. Wow, we did it. Hallelujah. There's one. <laughs> hey, from now on, every time we guess a letter, we have to say a word that starts that letter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, here you go. Holy Ghost. Um, I'm going to guess G. God. There are three Gs. Ooh. God is, is G. Great. That's good. Oh, I missed a letter. There see, were two H's. See, this is what I mean by can we get someone else to see what I have this? to deal with here? <laughs> okay. Guys, Man. look. Like Based on my mistake and your guess of G, we have multiple words. When it's out. Landon's turn, she remembers she forgot letters. Miss <laughs> Grace, I'd like to I'd like me. to make my guess. Oh my goodness. I'd like to make so my sorry. guess. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Landon, what do you think that this card says? We sing high and we sing low. So Get on your This is rigged. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's all it says. Oh, I think that's four letters when it's Landon's yes. turn. Mr. Landon, <laughs> actually, since you just won, Mr. Jeff, when do we sing this song that this card is talking about? Uh, when it's a camper's birthday. We uh, take them up on the stage mm -hmm. in the dining hall, and we sing high. We we get on our chairs. We sing really high. And then we sit on the floor and we sing low, happy birthday. Like Rancy Sharp. Rancy, some things right, never Mr. change. Mr. Rancy Sharp. So, yeah, it's a tradition. All at New Life right. Mr. Landon has two. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I feel Grace like Grace is, is kind of on my side <laughs> yeah. today. Guys, Just they were honest mistakes. <laughs> hey, Mr. Jeff, there are two more. Okay. Okay. So um, tie it up. You can. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Okay. Believe in myself. Ready? I almost just showed y'all the card that has the words on it. Huh? Okay. Wait. That's like she, already, she already forgot a letter. Wait, this isn't the right one. Hold on. Just. Oh, man. No. I guess we can just call it right now. I win. Hold on. No, 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 no. no. Uh, in the comments below, though, um, if you know anybody that would be a good MC, MC, yeah, we're hiring. Yes, to, a good MC, or okay. if Grace. you have any good games that you want us to play, put it in the comments and we might play it. So seriously, if you yes. have a good game Accurate. that you think we could play, put it in there. Or you, you know a better MC. Have no fear. The card was just upside down. I thought it was this, but in fact, it's this. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Here's your card. I would like Landon to start first this time. A. A. Aardvark. Aardvark. <laughs> Remember we said when we say there letter. Are, oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I'm going to try to get my counting right on this one, Mr. Jeff. There are two A's. <laughs> There's two. Jeff, Don't say worry, a word but start with A. Okay, Mr. Jeff. Antelope. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I'd like to guess E. Elephant. There are no E's. Uh, e News. Electric. Did you say E News? Yeah, e News. Oh. Like, you mean E News? Ham e News worked too. But I was thinking the hammocks. It's E No. E No. You were close. E No. It is. No. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. Hashtag not a sponsor. This is so. tough. <laughs> this we have is our tough. own hammocks in the Pesky. canteen. Yeah, here you go. Um, oh. Oh, is your guess? Oh. Oh. It wasn't just an exclamation. <laughs> there is one O. Oblong. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, I'd like to guess you. There is one you. Uranium. <laughs> Uranium. Crazy. Right, underrated. All right, like Mr. Jeff. Landon. <laughs> why? There is one why. Okay, okay. It's better than the last round where we got every We have one of our Not words. Mr. Yeah. Um... M. There are no M's. Uh, M's just mm. 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 L. Lollipop. There are no L's. Uh, yeah, Jeff's just gonna take another L. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I like to guess K. Ooh, interesting. I don't think yeah. we've guessed K this we entire have time. We Kangaroo. Um, there, it, out there. it was a really good guess, and you threw it out there, but no one caught it. There oh, are no K's. No. <laughs> K. K, strike out. <laughs> uh, I miss baseball. <laughs> RIP baseball. 
you're a Cubs fan. Of course you hate baseball. Um, hey, we're not losing right now, so. <laughs> that's funny. R. There are no R's. We're back at it. <laughs> you guys um, getting tired of these empty boards? Are you kidding me? There's no R's. R U starts with an A, so that doesn't actually work with our game. It doesn't have to if you're texting. Oh, I'm going to guess T. <gasps> Mr. Jeff, there are three T's. Okay, okay, okay. T, okay. T, 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 T. Oh. <laughs> Staffers. Yep. <laughs> three T's. Table, table for three. For th- mm-hmm. No. Hey. We do table for three yeah. during our uh, child parent camps. Subtle plug. So if you ever want to come to child parent camps, mm-hmm. do table for three. Father daughter camp. True. Plug, plug, Father plug. son camp. Mother daughter camp. There's tons of them. There are. Plug. Here's our current card. Who guessed T? I don't remember. That was me. Mr. Mr. Jeff. Okay, Mr. Landon, it I is your turn. Points. Can you show it to me? Yeah, I can. Here you go. Do you need glasses, is Mr. Landon? Is this what? what you want? Bingo! He did it! He guessed it! <laughs> Is you. this what you want? What I don't want to no, lose. I want, I want the uh, Spirit Award, actually. That's what yeah, I Mr. want. Mr. Landon, well, I don't what is lose, this phrase so used losing, so. during summer camp? When our SALs are on stage and they're getting the crowd quite hype, they say, Is this what you want? When they hold up the Spirit Award and everyone's like, Yeah, that's what I want! And then they read it off and like most people don't get it except for that day's winner. <laughs> that is how it works. It's pretty fun. There's only it, one winner. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Okay. Yeah, we don't round do that, four. Mm-hmm. It's four. three to zero. <laughs> it how is how many rounds are we doing? Um, this is the last round. I, yes. <laughs> this is the last round. Yes. You only earned one of those points. Grace gave you the other two. It's well. weird. I earned one, but I have three. <laughs> I will weird. admit. Weird. There were supposed to be five rounds, but at the beginning of this game, when I was trying to explain it to Mr. Jeff and Mr. Landon Who's behind ready the scenes, for MCP? I showed them the card. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for MCP? Who's ready? Who's I said ready first. For MCP? Oh. So I Four apologize. <laughs> I apologize. But hey, four rounds is great. So hey, here's our card. The with the bird the day with the point. Here's our card. Um, who, is that who, an apostrophe up there? It is, in fact, an apostrophe. Who so gets first last time? Uh, Mr. Landon did. Okay. Jeffrey? I'd like to guess A. He says A. There are, there is, no, there are <laughs> two, two A's. Come on, I'm not in school right now. I don't need your a, grammar. A. Apple. Forgot, we forgot, uh, forgot about mm, that. Mm, oh, mm, okay. Mm. There are A's. That's what you said earlier. Yeah. I kind of stole it. Mr. Landon. T. Taco. He has a taco. We have one taco. To me. <laughs> okay, Mr. Jeff. Um, I. Mhm. 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 There are two eyes. I got that right. Indigo. You did. Indigo. Instant regret. <laughs> Instant. <laughs> All right. Here's our card. Um. Is that your guess? Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good guess. Orb. There's one, Orb. <laughs> There's one O. Oh my gosh, Mr. Jeff. Um, why? Why would you say that? <laughs> why would he say that? There are no Y. Oh man. <laughs> my face muscles are starting to hurt. I'm smiling. Um, in. There are. One, two, three, ends. Woo. Woo. Okay, okay, Woo. okay. I'm going to guess this one. Wait, what's your nice. word that starts with an end? Nice. Never will I lose again. Yeah. Now he there's no that. way that's true. Can it come true, <laughs> Mr. Jeff? Um, I'm going to guess uh, Q. Nope. Not what? the case. Dang it. <laughs> Can I see the. I don't board, want to help Landon out anymore. So. <laughs> We're gonna what? sing what? like the saved. Boom. Gonna what? Sing like the saved. <laughs> Woo! No. Mr. Landon, yet again. <laughs> Has Thank one. You. I thought guessing hey. the wrong letter wouldn't help you out anymore. Mr. Jeff, <laughs> I will say, 
you didn't spend very much time looking at the card before you guessed. Well, no, I didn't but want look, to give him any look, more hits. But look, you could have you could have probably guessed that oh, word yeah. and then gone from there, but it's okay. Maybe next time. Oh, wait. Yep. There's yep. not a next time. The game's over. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Landon yes. has taken the dub today. Thank you. Four to zero. Like, seriously, though, if you are a fan, just say something down low. Make me feel good about myself. Because I, I feel like I'm getting hated on by I need host. motivation. She helped you today, so. <laughs> one, one time. Well, uh, day two of MCB TV. Took another another day. Another victory. Oh, keep losing, but, you know, maybe tomorrow. Hello, hello to all okay. my adoring fans. Oh, I wish so much I could go out there and shake every one of your hands and kiss all those little babies' heads. Oh. But you know, I can't right now. Got to be honoring to what the governor is yeah. asking us to do, you understand. Yeah. You, do work, you do work for the government. He yeah. gets it. Yeah. Well, gets I, it. I hope to work for the government. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. You know, that yeah. will be happening for sure, That's but true. not quite yet. That's okay. true. Well, hey, Hank, I... I couldn't sleep last night thinking about all these big plans and ideas well, you yeah, have. We're pretty, we're pretty excited about yeah. what, what you got for us? I've got big ideas. I plan to make this camp great again. Oh, I've heard oh. that before. But I mean, I feel like we're already a pretty great camp. I mean, we've had 61 oh, yes, summers. Yes, yes. I don't mean to imply that the, the current mayor is not doing a passable job. He is, but let's face it. Who can do better? This guy. Yeah. Who, who okay. is our current mayor, though? Do, I, do we have one? My only guess would be Tom. But no, no, Tom is not the not a mayor. He's the executive director. That's kind of about this level. The mayor is up here, and that's what oh. I will be. The Honorable Hank Honorman. Your honor. Okay. okay. All right. So hey, let's get into specifics, all right? You yeah, guys yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. to sit here and listen to you guys talk. You want to listen to me talk. Yeah. So let's get into this and Give talk the people about what some they of want. my... Excuse me? Give the people what they exactly, want. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm about. So let's get into specifics. Here is my first Big idea. Are okay. you ready? We're ready. What, are, what ideas do you have for us? Universal camp wide health care. Like, Every camper, when they're at New Life Ranch, will have health care no matter what. I, I mean, we, we already kind of do that. Yeah, I mean, we that, have that would be doctors the, and nurses here 24 7 while campers are yeah, here. But yeah, but do they serve every camper? Yes, yes. Yeah, every, every camper, camper so. staffer, whoever needs okay, help. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I don't really believe you. This is not Canada. Let's, let's get back. Another idea, another idea. Okay, okay. are hear you it. ready? Let's hear it. This one I call No Child Left Behind. That sounds familiar. All right, okay. it's twofold. Sounds bushy. It's twofold. First and foremost, while at New Life Ranch, no camper will be ever exposed to the Left Behind book series. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Yep, you understand. And second, any child that wants to come to camp will not be left behind. They will get to come. I mean... We, Finances will not be an issue. I mean, we already do that. It's called Mission 1914, uh, where donors donate money for campers to come to camp with scholarships. But can any kid apply, or are some kids not supposed to apply? Like, literally any child can apply. Finances is not an issue. If you want to donate to the Mission 1914, go to newliferanch.com slash donate. Well, I can improve it. I can improve it. I can improve that plan. I mean, how, how would you improve it? It's pretty amazing already. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, you know, Hank, we're not, we're not seeing too much in your plan here that's really going to help us out. Yeah, uh, we do a lot of those. Yeah, you know. sorry, I mean, if you, you know, we're, we're kind of good if you want to start. Wait, 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 wait. I will air condition New Life Ranch we're already in its entirety. I mean, like, we already have air conditioning in all of our cabins No, and no, no, I'm talking everywhere right now. You only have air conditioning in the buildings. I'm talking in its entirety. I'm talking the trails. I'm talking the swimming pools. I'm talking the overnight. Anytime a kid is outside, they will be in air conditioning. No child will ever sweat at New Life Ranch again. If you okay. could make that happen. I mean, like, Oklahoma's hot. It is. And, like, I mean, we have that giant parking lot at the Cove, all yeah. that asphalt. Like, oh, you're telling me so you can hot. make that cool? Everything. You imagine it, I'll make it happen. I mean, that sounds pretty amazing, but, like, how are you going to do that? No, 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 no. Let's not get caught up in the details. That's the stuff for me and my team to worry about. We have a plan for that. There's many options. We could build a large wall around New Life Ranch to keep the air in. We could call <laughs> up on those rich people and ask them to do it. Yeah. We could do the biodome option. There's many, many solutions, but that's not for you to worry about. All you need to do is focus on an air-conditioned New Life Ranch. 
Yeah, yeah. that's. I mean, it sounds really nice. It sounds but nice, but I don't know if you can actually make it happen. Oh, I, I would, can I you know. make it happen? <laughs> oh, can I make it happen? You so, think you can do it. so what other big ideas do you have? Big ideas. I tell you what, it's only Tuesday. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I will come back tomorrow with an even bigger idea that will turn you guys into Hank Honorman fans for life. Okay. Okay. Remember, I mean, remember, I'm the Honorable Hank Honorman, your honor. I'm here for you to have the honor of me serving as your mayor. Okay. Right. I bye. Mean, bye, Hank. See you I, tomorrow. If, if, if the AC thing's real, that's, that's going to be pretty great. Um, so we'll see what he has tomorrow, see what he can do. But uh, for now, we're going to give it to Miss Beth, and we're going to do some worship and do word. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. i 
and welcome back. I'm Miss Beth, and this is the time where we're diving into the Word. Yesterday, we dove into a story about Abraham waiting for a son. And today, we're going to jump into a story that kind of follows that line. Now, Abraham from yesterday, if you remember, he was waiting for a son, and he did, in fact, end up having a son with his wife. And that son's name was Isaac. And Isaac ended up having two sons, Esau and Jacob. And Jacob ended up having 12 sons and one daughter. And our story of waiting today is going to focus on the second youngest son, Joseph. Go ahead and grab your Bibles and turn again to Genesis. Uh, We're going to be in chapter 37 right now. And in verse 3, we start out and read, Now Jacob loved Joseph more than his other sons, because Joseph was born to him in his old age. And he made a robe of many colors for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not bring themselves to speak nicely to him. Then Joseph had a dream. When he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. He said to them, listen to this dream I had. There we were, binding sheaves of grain in the field. Suddenly, my sheaf stood up and your sheaves gathered around it and bowed down to my sheaf. Are you really going to reign over us? His brothers asked him. Are you really going to rule us? So they hated him even more because of his dream and what he had said. Then he had another dream and told it to his brothers. Look, he said, I had another dream. And this time the sun, moon, and 11 stars were bowing down to me. He told his father and brothers and his father rebuked him. What kind of dream is this that you've had? Am I and your mother and your brothers really going to come and bow down to the ground before you? His brothers were jealous of him but his father kept the matter in mind. Now, Joseph's brother's hatred for him grew and grew, and one day they saw an opportunity to take care of their problem. They sold him to some slave drivers and um, told their father that he had been killed by a wild animal. Um, They bloodied his colored coat and gave it to his father and he he mourned. He mourned that his, his son was dead, but in fact, his son was being taken to another country called Egypt. And as we as we look at this, I want to pause really quick. Have you ever had a dream that you remembered the next morning? I have, and normally they're really weird, like really weird. Like one time I dreamed that I was a cow. Okay, sorry, I digress. Um, Joseph's dreams weren't like those kinds of dreams. They were actually what we call prophecies. And a prophecy means that it's foretelling the future, that it's telling something about the future. Now, I don't think that Joseph knew that his dreams were prophecies. And so I don't think the waiting that he experienced was for these specific dreams to come true. But you better believe that the second that he was stolen from his family and sold into slavery, that he waited for the day that he'd be reunited with his father and his brothers. In Genesis chapter 39, we learn that Joseph ends up being sold to a man named Potiphar. And he works really hard and really well and rises to the ranks in Potiphar's servants. But then Potiphar's wife, who's not a very nice lady, ends up lying and getting Joseph thrown in jail all because he wouldn't do something that she wanted him to do. It's not cool, right? No, not at all. So while Joseph is in jail, he ends up being able to interpret these two other prisoners' dreams, uh, a talent that God gave him. And the prisoner who had a good dream and ends up getting released from prison Joseph asks him, just remember me. When you're out there and you're free, just remember me. Remember what I did for you. But he doesn't remember. (laughs) Actually, it goes two years, two years until this other prisoner remembered Joseph. And at this point, the king of Egypt needs help interpreting a dream. And so they bring Joseph in and he's able to help the king of Egypt because God gave him the ability to. And so because he could help, the king of Egypt made Joseph the second most important person in all the country. I'm like, that's just crazy. The second most important person. And he had been in jail before. He had been a slave before. But here God had done this for him. And then in the land, a famine comes. So they they can't grow any food. The water has dried up. And that brings Joseph's brothers to his country, to Egypt. And guess what they do? 
they come and they bow down before Joseph. 20 years after Joseph had those dreams, they came true. But more than that, Joseph was so excited because 20 years after he was sold into slavery, he's reunited with his family. I don't know about you, but have you ever felt stuck in a situation that you didn't want to be in? I, I'm sure you have. Um, we all have. We've all felt stuck. What do you do during those times when you feel stuck? Do you get grumpy and kind of have an attitude and, and I don't know, act out because things aren't the way that you want them to be? I think we've all been there. It's really easy to do that. Uh, maybe that's even happening now during this time of social distancing. But in those moments, I think we can go back and we can look at Joseph's example. Because as he was waiting, as he was in jail, as he was wrongfully accused, as he was serving in somebody else's household, I really do believe that he did the best that he possibly could every single day. So what do we learn from this story of waiting? One, our timing is not God's timing. Two, God has a bigger plan than we can see. In fact, Joseph said to his brothers in Genesis 50 verse 20, as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. And the third lesson that we learn is one of the most important things we can do while waiting um, is to do the best we possibly can each and every day, even if the circumstances aren't what we want them to be. Now, Word Time does not have to stop here, guys. You can continue to read about Joseph and all the things that happened to all of, um, all of the offspring of Abraham in Genesis. But for now, we're wrapping up and we're going to sing that MCP song. Take it away, guys. All right, everybody, let's stand up and let's sing that song. M O R N I N G C M P P 